So before I review Inside Out 2, let me talk about the first Inside Out very briefly. I remember back in 2015, when I, when I saw it, back in theaters, I gotta say, I loved it. Um, the movie packs, packs an engaging storyline, along with some clever writing that also delivers a message about embracing every single emotion and not just happiness. Insta the first Inside Out also packs some beautiful animation and a cast of lovable and memorable characters. However, however the only one nitpick I have is that the storyline does revolve around, around moving to a new town. But however, even with, that even, even with that small nitpick, it doesn't change that I consider Inside Out to be one of the greatest movies of the 2010s decade. Now, with that said, Time for me to review Inside Out 2. Inside Out 2 is not only the best animated sequel since Toy Story 3, it is also one of the best animated movies I've seen in the theater. There's so much I can say about this movie. This movie packs a very engaging storyline along with clever writing that also delivers a powerful message about self-love and learning to accept who we are. This message also proves why it's okay to feel anxiety while we still have to control our emotions. This message also proves why anxiety is not a bad thing. Anxiety helps us stay alert of things in life. Inside Out 2 is also packed with a lot of great voice performances from the cast, especially Amy Poehler as Joy, Maya Hawke as Anxiety, and Kensington Tallman as Riley. No matter which character it is, no matter who they are, no matter what they do, almost every single one of them, I find the characters to be both lovable and memorable. My personal two favorite characters from this movie had to be, of course, Joy and Anxiety, which both characters steal the show, by the way, especially with Anxiety's antics and both of their voice performances from Amy Poehler and Maya Hawke. And let's not forget the beautiful animation, which is very well done. It is also very dynamic, where it does a great job of mixing in the styles of realistic and cartoonish, while separating both styles into their own worlds. While I enjoyed the first Inside Out movie, Inside Out 2 just took everything that made the original great and brought it to a whole new level. Overall, I had an amazing time watching this movie. And if you enjoy the first Inside Out movie, then this is a must watch and I would highly recommend it. Anyways, as for my rating, I'm going to rate Inside Out 2 a 10 out of 10. It is a true masterpiece and it is one of Pixar's best movies ever made. Well done Pixar, you made another banger. And that concludes my review on Inside Out 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss a single upload. Anyways, what are your thoughts about Inside Out 2? Let's talk about them in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.